Guys, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Today, we have a special episode. Terry Mitchell from Bader & Sons, soon to be Hudson, came down, brought two different Manitou telehandlers from the agricultural series, I think it is, right? Yep, and we brought the MLT 630. It's a little bigger, uh, 6,600 pound capacity, 20 foot boom, 105 horsepower instead of 74 horsepower with the 625. Yep, the MLT 625, 5,500 pound capacity, 20 foot boom. So I was struggling to make up my mind and I just couldn't find the time, the free time to get up to Portland. That's where you're at, right? Correct. Michigan, Portland, Michigan. And so he was gracious enough to load up one of each machine and bring them down here so we could demo them right in the parking lot. And I gotta say, this is not just me saying this, just to say something. Terry is fantastic. I <laughs> felt like I was bugging him. I was calling him so much, just trying to ask questions and get the right machine figured out. And he just offered. <laughs> that's what I do. All I sell, we're a John Deere dealer. All I do is sell manatees. That's it. It's pretty incredible. I mean, I'm telling you, he, he talked to me any time of day. He said, call him nights, weekends, whatever. It didn't matter. This is the guy to deal with if you're in the market for a Manitou. And which one did we come up with? Going with the... As always, guys, I gotta let you know really quick, I am sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. I don't know if they make it for telehandlers, but I can tell you they make it for tractors, UTVs, vehicles. So if you're looking for a stability solution for your machine, make sure you check out Bora Wheel Spacers. There's a link down below. And as always, if you like this video, I would love to get a thumbs up from you. That would mean a lot. Hit that subscribe button right down below and head on over to goodworkstractors.com. If you're looking for something for your tractor, your skid steer, or maybe even your telehandler, we can help you out with that. did want to hook something up hydraulically to yeah. these tips. This button right here, that takes the pressure off of those tips. Sweet. So okay. you can, they just come right on. Yep. <laughs> the work lights up top, headlights, all LED. You got boom lights also. Sweet. <laughs> if you get to the point Thanks. where you lock an attachment in, and for safety reasons, you you don't, you want to kill that switch to yeah. unlock it, yeah. just turn this valve. Okay. 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 Now the pressure is going to the attachments. Yep. Batteries in here. Okay. Uh, there's your shutoff for the battery. Here's your hydraulic <laughs> fill. Okay. There's your level. Nice. Yep. Man, there's lights all over this thing. Yeah. Holy smoke. See, they trying here, to do here. a surround light. Thing. Dang. So you got lighting all the way around the machine. But if you do get a chance in the dark, check it out. It's oh yeah, cool. I'm it's really to. lit up. Everything's pretty well easy access filters. Yeah. Wise. Here's your plug-in for your block heater. Oh okay. Right. There. All right. So. This and, is 105 uh, horse. Pre-filter up top. Okay, got yep. your inner and outer there. These are so you never have to get under the boom. Holy smoke, anything. you see that? They run so, the fittings all yep. the way back here for a long boom. See, it's easy to grease. Is this a, a, a boom That's lockout? A brace for the boom. Yeah. yeah, if you bring the boom up and you're servicing it, okay. you can lock it out. Was this the Kubota diesel that's in here? This is a Deutsch. It's a Deutsch, okay, yep. all right. We've been using Deutsch for a long time, and Kubota. Yeah, is, is Kubota the bigger in this ones, one? we have John Deere's in them now. Oh, do you really? Yeah. Oh, okay. No. Which works for us. And where are these? These are made in France. France, France yeah. Yep. Okay, this machine's a little more simpler. Wow, it's a, it's a lot tinier, huh? Yeah, the Dang. cab is a lot smaller wow. than that cab. Uh, AC again, okay. horn, headlight, yeah. that tilts. Yep. This also has Bluetooth too. Okay. Uh, hazard light, rear work light, your amber light on top, okay. work light. Uh, that's kill the joystick. One puff will come up, it tells you yourself, Jenny. This also has the cruise control. If you want it, you can have full hydraulics. That's the way this works. You you turn the hand throttle up all the way on that machine too. Yeah, that yeah. has a lever. Yeah. And then you then your hydro whatever you're running hydraulically has got yeah. full hydraulics. Yeah. And then you can tune in huh. for speed. Interesting. So same joystick, same functions. Yep. Same thing. You just flick it in neutral and floor it. Okay. I'm gonna show you real quick. Steering mode. The rear first, right there. Okay, now let's do the front. Right there. Hmm. Then we'll put it back in four wheel steer. We're all good. On that one, it's auto. You just push the button. Wow, okay, okay. So that one's a little bit more simplified than on that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, yep. this one there's a sequence to get into. Right. Okay. Still way. Huh. Also on this one, to take the pressure off the tips, the buttons here. Okay, same thing. Batteries okay. here. Okay. Shut off right there. All right. Here's the Kubota here. 
Okay. So this one's the Kubota. All right. Okay. Same concept. Everything's up front. Yep. Pretty easy to work on. Uh, it has a primer pump just in case you ever run out of fuel. Here's your lock okay. heater. This is an auto drain tube for your oil. You just screw it oh, on. Oh, sweet. Yep. Are they, these are self priming? It, fuel? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But if you ever run out of fuel, you can okay. get it started faster okay. like that. So. Fuel fills back here. Okay. Okay. Well, the Zerk, okay, yeah, the Zerk's there, here, here, okay. Uh, yeah. Same concept with the hitch in the mirror. The reason why this is the most popular unit is because, one of the most popular units, I saw more of these than that, is people have height restrictions, uh, and it's just huh. more, more nimble. Okay. Well, we're not going inside, I mean, we will be going inside See, I got a barn eventually, but, that. yeah. I mean, and, and this can, this is... Yeah, yeah, we'll have huge ones. And I mean, even here, what's this overall height? Your width is uh, six feet, nine inches. Six, nine. So this is only nine inches wider than the other one, the 6.5. Overall height, seven foot. But this one weighs uh, about 14, nine. Four, basically 15,000 pounds versus 10, 11. 11. So 4,000 pounds more. And you can leave this in four wheel steer. All the time. All the time, if you want. Oh yeah. Okay. It's four wheel drive all the time too. Oh, it's four wheel drive all oh, the yeah, time. Oh yeah, all the time. Wow, full time. Are both of them full yep. time? Yep. No kidding. Huh? Is that excessive wear on the tires doing that no. or no? No. Okay. The comfort rides the accumulator on the boom that takes the shock off. Oh, Say you got a bucket oh, of dirt here. and you're going across the yard, it's it like smooths the ride out. Between that, I would never have one of these without comfort ride yeah. or the air seat. Yeah, right. Between the air seat and that comfort ride, you take a guy like a dairy guy, I have a lot of dairy customers, that guy's in that machine eight hours yeah. a day. Yeah. yeah, right. Oh, yeah. It, it'll just beat the crap out of you if you don't have that air seat and that comfort okay. ride. Well, I guess we're going to have to play around with them and drive. Yeah. Or is this, 20 foot they're both 20-foot booms, yeah. so the, the booms are the same. Correct. But the weight capacity is, is a lot more on this one. Yeah, you're at 6,600 pounds on this one, 55, yeah. those are their ratings. I've lifted 62 with that one before, okay. and on this one, I've, I've lifted almost 8,000 pounds. And that's boom retracted boom to in. full height? Boom, boom in, yep. 
That's crazy. Wow. Your weakest point is going to be with the boom all, all the way down, straight out. That's going to be your weakest point. Oh. When those back tires start to lift up a little bit, pull it back in. In your mind, in my mind, there is the money difference between these two. Yeah. If you can handle the, the weight of this for right. hauling, right. your value is here. Yeah. I mean, that's a great machine, don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. Man, that's one of my number one. That and the 840 are my number one sellers. So. Can you handle the weight of this for hauling? I'll have to get a different trailer. But I was going to get a smaller trailer, just a flatbed, like a 20 foot. You know that's a lot lighter you know and uh just to haul this or the skid steer or whatever anyway oh, that's right. And which one did we come up with? Going with the bigger one. It's a pretty small price gap, right? $6,000. You get a lot more physical weight of the machine. You get a lot more capacity, 30 more horsepower, more torque, yep. more bells and whistles. I like the bells and whistles. So the biggest consideration really wasn't the money. It was more about maneuverability and trying to weigh a short-term situation, which is here at the shop, versus the long-term situation at our new property once we have the barn built. I didn't want to go you know, just for the short term and, and have to sell it and get a new one, a bigger machine. Yep. It sounds like they've got pretty good resale value in the used market. They do. I just don't want to deal with that headache. So really for me, the reason I went with this machine, it was only about $5,000 more. The biggest drawback was it does have def fluid. Um, it's also a little bit less nimble. It's six foot nine inches wide. I think it's about 16 inches longer. So it's, it's nine inches wider, 16 inches longer than the smaller counterpart. They're both hydrostatic machines. This is the biggest hydrostatic machine that they had available. Anything else is gonna be some sort of a, a, a gear drive or manual sort of operation to it. But this one had a lot of other bells and whistles, um, even convenience things. You're gonna notice all around here, there's extensions on the Zerks. And so you don't have to like lay down your bag, get underneath anywhere. They're all accessible locations and there's Zerks all over this machine here. You gotta do that all the time. That's a just one little benefit that I saw. Yeah, you got a power window, you have um, push button to change the style of steering, whether it's just the front wheel steer, the crab walk, the articulating. You're gonna have a single piece glass window as well. You do have some more buttons in here. I don't even know what all the buttons do. Terry went through it, but you know, just like buying a new tractor, right? Things go in one ear and out the other. It takes just repetition to get familiar with it. But it's 30 more horsepower. It's got a lot more torque. It weighs about 4,000 pounds more. The boom extension is, is the exact same, but the lift capacity is, I think it was 12, 1300 pounds more in that ballpark as well. It just had so much more for just about five grand. I know that seems a lot, but when you're paying thousands and thousands of dollars for a machine like this, that's pretty minimal. We did get a one and a half yard HLA bucket with this, has a Manitou style of quick attach on here. It's not a skid steer quick attach. We got a set of forks. I'm gonna have to look into getting a a side shifting set of forks as well and then also that space with the tines uh, just that's gonna be really helpful out here currently this is gonna be used out at our shop right here primarily where it's going to live we're using the skid steer which is real herky-jerky when you're turning and moving things uh, the tires are wearing down really prematurely it is very maneuverable but there's a lot of trade-offs so this is gonna be primarily a shop machine here once we get the new property, there's going to be a lot of other applications. Got to put in um, trails through the woods, clear a lot of areas out. I can see all sorts of uses for this. We're going to put it to work. Anyway, so if you want to see more about this machine, happy to help. Leave a comment down below. Maybe we can make a, a new video after we accumulate some hours on here. I'm super excited. I've been looking at these things for months and months and months, trying to make the right decision. I know how it goes when I'm shopping for a piece of equipment, just like you. It's paralysis by analysis you know so at some point you just have to jump and make a decision i don't think i could have gone wrong either way but i do think i would buy this one every time again guys if you like what you see here i would love to get that thumbs up from you that would mean a lot hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and make sure you read through the description underneath the video or head on over to goodworkstractors.com thanks again for stopping by and until next time stay safe we'll see you soon